Oh my god. I can't believe it. Everybody, it's your boy Boo, Boo Cobain coming to you all with a brand new drop. This is Tar, the main event. Fellas, we have waited on this all season long. I know when y'all see it was releasing this week, I like, Booney Boy, you better take an L on that shit, cousin. And if you're one of those people wishing the worst for me this week, I understand that y'all haven't gotten to see me get a spicy L in a minute. I hate you, though, bro. Come on. I need all the best wishes I can get. I need the good luck boons in the chat. I just need a lot of love this week, y'all. I know I'm about to go through some rough times this Thursday, because yes, sir, we have this Supreme Kurt Cobain sweater dropping if you couldn't tell. I put on my best glazing outfit for y'all. We got the Kurt Cobain guitar boy zip up with the Nirvana hat. Okay, let's settle down a little bit, Boone, but seriously, I've been saying it all season long ever since we saw the first preview of this sweater. It was one of my favorite sections. Let's dive on in. Oh, oh my, oh my fucking. I have no fucking words. The dick writing is immeasurable. Kurt. Oh my fucking god, I swear to fucking god I did not see this. I'm, no, bro, I literally am gonna fucking piss my pants right now. Are you shitting me, bro? This is so... This item of the season, I don't give a fuck. This could be like a top three, top five favorite item from Supreme for me personally. I'm just someone that's always loved Kurt Cobain and Nirvana. Seeing Supreme doing some Kurt Cobain items this season has definitely been the highlight for me, and I've just... I've been waiting on this one. Please, you guys, please. Like, if you actually love me as a person, do not go for this. It's gonna be such a fun live cop this week, so y'all better tune in. We also got some other stuff releasing, so let's talk about what you should go for. Not my sweater. I promise I'll shut up in a bit, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like. Dude, I just, I need some good luck here, fellas. I am so nervous for this one. But let's get into this video today. I hope you all enjoy. So first off, before we start the video and I start jump roping with Kurt Cobain's thing, stop it. I need to remind y'all, if you wanna join my private cook group browser, you can get a free 50% off if you use the code YouTube at checkout, links in the description. I write up the carts to go for every week. We also do add to cart services, DoorDash services, literally anything you need for making money online or saving it. Hit us up on Instagram to join if you have questions or hit the link in the description. Let's get into this one. So I'm just not even gonna bullshit y'all, man. We're just gonna go right into Kurt Cobain sweater talk. So I first, look, what's your guys' opinion of this sweater? I feel like it's been a very polarizing one this season. I've seen some people absolutely hating on it for some valid reasons. Like at the end of the day, it is just a big print of a Kurt Cobain photo on a sweater. Cable knit sweater, all right? Like that's something. Um, but of course, it's not like the most unique, just crazy item. But, I mean, you could say the same about something like this jacket I'm wearing right now. That doesn't mean it doesn't look sick. And I guess that's my take on it. I think it looks super cool. Um, the coloring is a little weird. The white sleeves with the blue. We'll have to see how it looks on body. What's retail going to be? I think they're going to tax on this one. 178, I'd be happy with. 168, 178, I'd be stoked with. I'm scared this could be all the way up to 198. If it's above that, Supreme is absolutely chipping us. Which is nothing new. I'm used to that shit by now. But yes, this sweater is definitely going to resell this only one colorway um it's been really hyped up all season <laughs> i don't even like saying this to y'all man but i do really think it is gonna have some goods resell probably going for around the 300 range maybe it dips down a bit in the first week because everyone's quick selling but this one is definitely gonna go up over time i don't see supreme making any more kurt cobain stuff maybe ever just because we've already gotten the t-shirt this season now this so yeah a lot of you guys should be going for it but hold on if you want to be a nice guy go for something different there are actually some other good items to go for and i'm not just bullshitting y'all i'm gonna be going for size medium on the sweater so you guys if you love me go for small large double XL, XL, triple XL, quite anything else. I really hope not too many of y'all are out for the summer and you're stuck in your fucking first period math class while this shit drops so I can buy it. My favorite item of the season. I am so stoked, man. This season really been heating up in the end for me. So yeah, there's been some good stuff released and this is the main event, man. But let's talk about some other stuff. We've talked enough Kurt Cobain sweater, I think. We'll start getting into what y'all upvoted and starting it off these tonal logo towels, which are also coming at a really good time now that it's getting warm out. I've been going swimming a lot, trying to get my tan in. You know, I gotta look good and I need a new towel, boys, because the towel I use, I'll throw a photo up of it. <laughs> Don't make too much fun of me, y'all. I've had the same beach towel forever, so it's about time I need a new one, and I actually really like the way they did these. A lot of us have been hating on the Tonal Logo stuff all season, but I think for something like this, a towel, it actually looks really good. I wish they did a dish towel set with these as well, um, but I think, what like, what color y'all think? I'm thinking the green, man. I really like the navy as well, but I feel like the green is just, I don't know, bro. Green Supreme stuff just always hits. I'm definitely starting to see it as one of those classic Supreme colors, so I think the green towel, it's gonna be around 60-something, I would assume. Um, there could be a little bit of profit 
towels are not really a great resale item, but I think if any of them were to do well, it would be the green, but it's only gonna be like 15, 20 above retail. So not really worth it. I think these are super sick personals though. And I do actually think they will sell out. At least one color of them will sell out somewhat fast in the first 20 minutes or so. I think it's gonna be the green. I'm probably gonna get one in my second cart. So next up, we have these James Brand Palmer Utility Knives. Now, another classic color they're bringing out, the purple. That's definitely my favorite for this. Um, maybe the black does the best because the black knives just always outperform the other color, which is usually red. But they don't really make many purple knives and I feel like the purple accessories do pretty well. So I would say purple on this. If it's not too expensive, like if it's like 30, I really don't know the prices of this stuff. I don't really see profit on these, honestly. You have to hold the knives for a while. Um, and yeah, these just don't look like something that's really gonna flip for much. So they're pretty skippable. We have the Vans Dollar Eras. Bro, they, they could have used any other print. Of every print, they have to bring back the dollar bills. I just really have never been a fan of money on stuff. I think it looks really gaudy. Like, it's just, it's not for me. So I'm a big hater of these personally. I wish they used the magazine print for these. I think that would have been a lot cooler and like paid homage to Supreme. Would have felt like some older Supreme vans. I'm really not feeling the vans this week. We also have the Skate Grosso mids. Always nice to see them switch up the models, Um, but these are maybe even worse. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, the white pair is somewhat okay. The black bottoms throws it off a little. I'm I'm just not too into these personally. Maybe some of you guys like them. They're not gonna have resale though. And let's talk about this Jaguar. This was another one of these items this season. I was super stoked on when I saw it because I actually wanted something like this. Put in my big like plant room. I feel like that would look super cool there but it's hand painted, so um, no. It's gonna be so ridiculously expensive, I'm sure. I'd imagine three to 400 porcelain. That might even be like a conservative guess. It could be like five, like, it's gonna be so expensive. These are gonna be skips. I think they will actually sell out, um, but I don't know if these are gonna resell. It's a really weird item. There's like no branding really either. I think there's somewhere in the fur spell out. Yeah, there's like a really small one. It's hard to see, probably easier to see in person. These are gonna be skips. I do think they're gonna sell out though, to be honest. I don't know why. I feel like people are gonna fuck with them. I fuck with them, it's one of my favorite accessories but it's really expensive let's get into these magazine items man i'm actually really hyped on these this cam cap i think is a go i definitely think there's going to be a really good cop this week especially if you're trying to do multi carts it's not worth a single cart but a lot of these all over print cam caps that only come in one colorway we see age super nicely over time um, this is a print that's really dope for collectors if you guys don't know these are a bunch of older supreme magazines they used to publish they'd come with sticker sets they're worth a shitload of money i can't even remember the last year they did one it's been probably over 10 years since they came out with one of these magazines. For me personally, and probably most of y'all, I think the RZA cover is the hardest. I believe that's also John Lydon, who they just did a collaboration with like last season. This is gonna be a cop. If I go for a second cart and get something like the towel, I think the camp cap's also gonna be going in it. These are probably gonna age up to 80 plus, 90 maybe. Next up, the nylon water shorts. Um, just a basic we get every season now. If you guys want a pair, go for them. Not gonna have profit though. We also have the magazine shirt. I definitely think the colored version is the one. The black and white's a little boring for me. I don't even think they needed that color. I really just was stick with the multicolor. This one's not gonna have as much profit. I actually, again, do enjoy it a lot. I just love the homage to older Supreme stuff. I think the cam cap's a lot better. It's gonna be cheaper. It's just a little more wearable. Um, we have the racing six panel and this one, is fire dude i did like i remember i was really bummed on the hats this season and i don't even really remember this one but damn are the hits all over it so cool logos on top of logos supreme racing on the back the supreme goodyear on the side man can we get a t-shirt with that please bro this is such a sick one honestly the fuck them all on the front this is gonna be a cop i think honestly i actually do think i'm gonna grab one of these i'm sort of liking this navy color it's got like the wash look to it the black's a little too dark i actually could see myself buying one it's gonna probably be 54 i actually think it's gonna be a hat that ages nice if you remember, Supreme does a lot of these all over patch hats and most of them have actually performed really nicely. I remember they did that like ATV one recently, like Japanese themed one. It might not have been an ATV, some fucking vehicle. Those actually ended up doing really well. They are a little pricier, like 54, maybe even 60, but they're probably gonna go for 80 to 90 bucks. I would guess the green, the black, the navy. I actually think these are a cop. I think these are gonna age really well over time. Not right away, but give it a month or two, you'll see these going up in their price. The Umbro hooded anorak is horrible to me. I actually hate that the same is not that bad but just the color blocking they did I'm not too much of a fan. Actually, the green one's not bad either. I just don't like the black one. It looks like just really cheap to me. Other colorway is not so bad, but this is not gonna resell or anything. It's definitely skippable. Suede visor cam caps. Now, this might be a little pricier since it is suede, but 
These are kind of sick too, man. Um, I mean, black's old reliable, but I really like some of the colors here. The white and purple with the purple box logo, that is something I don't know if we've ever seen with a camp cap. This might also be a cop. There's actually really good hats this week, I have to say. The green's not bad, the baby blue's not bad. Really, the peach looks horrific. Um, I'd say the black or the purple, honestly, are the safe goes here. I might even get one in the purple color. I'm really digging it, honestly. I just hope it's not too expensive because it is suede on the cap, which is pretty pricey. If it's like 60 or something, maybe it's skippable. If it's 54, I think there actually is a chance on this one. You will have to hold it like every other hat I've talked about. Next up, the Piping Arc Hooded Sweatshirt. Um, I don't know. This feels like something we just see every season. It's pretty skippable. Uh, the Gradient Mesh Stripe Shorts. We got the FUBU kind of colors going on, the Gradient Scale. Um, I've definitely been a fan of this print this season. It's really the blue or the pink, but these are going to be skips. Um, I don't think there's enough going on with them, although I do like the Supreme tag they used on these, that script logo. That brings us to the trademark stuff, which is just really boring to me. I swear we have seen this exact print from Supreme so many times and it's always just the same thing on some pants and a denim button up. I'm so sick of this recipe. It feels like we see every season. Um, these are also skips, the denim shirts. I'm really not a fan of either of these. The Brim Crushers, I actually just called terrible, but they're not that bad. I actually kind of dig them. They got the wash look. Um, damn, this would make a sick t-shirt, man. The oldie spell out with the Bowery location. Like, this is actually kind of cool the more I look at it. Um, they're going to be skips, but I kind of dig them, honestly. Actually, a decent crusher. The gradient mesh stripe, these are just going to sit, honestly. The jerseys this week are terrible. The Mustang jersey is hilarious. That's what I look like, bro. You know, come on. I got the Mustang hair with me. Um, no, this is what I wish my hair looked like. Uh, these are going to be skips. So that's going to do it for the week. It's Kurt Cobain season over here, fellas. I am so rattled for this drop. I can't even tell y'all, man. Please don't do me dirty this time around fellas just don't hurt me I've been hurt so many times on this website this is my favorite item this is one of my favorite items Supreme's ever done I need the cops so you guys are gonna see it Thursday let me know if you think I'm a cook or not I know my haters gonna be plotting out my downfall but it's gonna be a fun video when we go for it so yeah I wish you all the best luck some actually good sleepers alongside it I might be getting the three cam caps in the towel after the curtain sweater that's how hard I'm going but I'll see y'all later man it's been your boy Boone I'm out peace <laughs>